Well, after today, that's it for November 2020. Um, the year rushing to a conclusion, and this study is also rushing to a conclusion. Um, at the moment, it's just a question of filling in little gaps. There'll be no big structural changes uh, planned, no cutting, it is what it is, and so I thought I'd share with you a few observations. Um, and let's begin positively, which is what we used to say to the uh, kids in school, uh, critique, critiquing work, whether their own or other people. Start with something good and before you launch into a negative or potentially negatively construed criticism. So I'm pretty happy. Uh, the likeness is starting to emerge and the larger scale is giving me a sense of what my future sculpture is going to look like. Um, this piece is, I suppose, about two and a half meters. Um, and it's been a very positive experience working out how to work with something on this scale. Uh, the blue cord is a, a sort of rough and ready pulley system. Uh, and, and that's quite encouraging. Right, well, I'm trying to be positive, but the uh, inner critic and artist in me, you know, there's no escaping some uh, pretty negative observations. I mean, one is that clearly um, the proportions went awry. You know, the head is just too big. I don't know how it happened. There was measurements. I was looking and observing, and it just ended up that way. Yeah, it's not a problem. I, I, I'm not saying that, that, oh, God, woe is me. This is dreadful. I'm going to um, scrap it immediately. Not at all. But uh, there's no denying that the proportions went wrong. And the other thing that I'm starting to realize when I look from lower down is that hair details gets lost. Um, so, for example, the neck looks bigger than it is because of that large mass of hair at the back of the neck. Um, but at a distance, you can't really make out the differences. So my original plan, which was to simply make this a, a sort of line drawing on an imaginary 3D surface may need to be modified slightly um, in terms of how I construct the hair. And I have an idea for that. And uh, one of my plans for 2021 will be to do head studies to work on Im improving the likeness and also um, developing this idea about the hair. Throw a bit of a shake as I change hands. As far as proportions go, it's now clear to me more than ever before that I need to work from some sort of more detailed blueprint, which involves, I suspect, doing a drawing first. And, and a, when I say doing a drawing, I don't mean doing yet more um, quick scribbles of David. I mean doing a drawing that is life-size from many angles and has worked through issues of size. And then I think I need to work out how I can create a, a framework to construct my sculpture on, and then the framework would be sort of deconstructed, rather like my masks, you know, or, or the small suspended heads. You begin with some sort of structure, and then as you go, you untie or cut lines, and, and the structure sort of melts away. And I need to do something like that. Uh, the, the truth of the matter is that if you look at um, people who model, they begin, you know, 
uh, uh, bronze sculptures begin with uh, a, a metal armature. You put um, rough lump and masses of clay on, which you gradually refine until the sculpture emerges. Um, and if you look at people who work in, in, in stone carving, well, they begin with a maquette, a, a, a clay model, and they work from that, and they have, uh, there are established techniques and methods for scaling up so that you can get the full size. And I think I need to work on equivalents um, working in wire, um, which I don't think really exist. Uh, there are uh, uh, sculptors who work in large scale with wire, and many of them begin, well, work with an armature uh, of, of some sort. Um, so I'm not going to do that, but I need to find a way to do something that's a sort of uh, a bootstrapping in-between step. So that's the plan. Um, how long will all this take me? Well, that's actually one other good thing with this study. Uh, this has taken me, I suppose, the best part of four months, or it will have when I'm finished. Um, so it gives me a good idea if, if that's four months' work, uh, eight, nine months, I think, is a, a decent estimate once I, I have a blueprint to work from, that would be a decent estimate for how long to do it will take me to do the big sculpture. How long it will take me to get to the point where I'm ready to launch into um, the final piece, or the first crack, the first attempt at my Everest, well, that's another matter. Um, but I'm happy. You know, this is, I think... Um, clearly a step forward. I've been reading a, a, one of these sort of email um, sales magnety free ebook things uh, about the gap and the gain. Dan Sullivan, one of these coaching people. I'm not really too interested in going down the Dan Sullivan road, but the gap and the gain is a, a, a very good concept. You know, this idea that a lot of our problems stem from looking at our goal, our ambition, our, our grand plan, and it's that, that uh, gap between where we are and where we want to get that is so intimidating and frightening. And I think that's kind of what stops many of us making real progress because we work hard, we do something, we look at what we've done and it seems like we're no closer to where we want to be at the end. And the solution is to look at the gain rather than the gap, rather than the gap to where you want to get, uh, look back on where you started. And, and when I do that, I can see that I'm making a lot of progress. Um, it's slow progress, but that's fine. You know, uh, David took arguably the greatest sculptor in history four years to produce, and he was starting from a, a, um, an amazing place, a, a technical expertise. So if this project's going to take four, five, ten years, well, so be it. It's... It's my little private Everest. Um, and, and, and that's it. Uh, I will check back in, in sometime in December to show you the finished piece when, it's, when he's been painted and, and also um, keep you posted on how the drawing develops. Until then, you know, I hope... Your year is coming to a positive conclusion that you're well and happy and uh, that there's light at the end of the tunnel. And until December, it's ciao from uh, a sunny Brazil. <laughs>